Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Learning Destinations. I'm your host, Avinas, and in this session, we are going to talk about the real time search API. So, in this session, I'm going to show you that how you can simply utilize this real time search API to build your own chatbot that can directly interact with the internet, right? But before we directly jump into the practical sessions, let me give you a few examples why it is needed. All right, guys. So now I would like to give you one example that why it is needed and how much it is beneficial for us. OK, so here I would like to one simple example. So suppose I want to search a keyword. What is JNAI, right? In today's world, the most and quickest and easiest way that I simply open my web browser and then I search the keyword. What is JNAI, right? In this way, we can gather the information, we can collect the information through various links, okay? But how about if I say that we can get the same information by using our own customized chatbot as well, okay? So if I type here, what is JNEI? Then we can get the answer here also, right? It is more precise and crisp, right? So we are receiving this information under this chatbot. This is all possible because of this real time search API. Now Tably is one of the major player in this field. However, there are other players as well like LinkUp and few other players as well exist into the market. In this session, I'm going to use the Tably. So here I give the prompt into the chatbot, then it connects to the internet, it gather all the informations and then the informations I receive into my chatbots. Okay, that's how it works. All right guys, so, so far now we understood this concept. Now let's talk about this side. So we have LLM, large language model. Now we all know that this LLM is trained on some set of data, right? These are some set of data. So this LLM, suppose there is a chat GPT-3 or chat GPT-4, right? And it is trained up to 2022 or it is trained up to data 2023 or 2024, right? So we get the information. So suppose this LLM is trained until 2023 data, right? So whatever the things happens or any new technology is evolved by 2023 we can get the data until 2023 through this llm okay but how about if we want some latest information which is happening in 2025 right then if we use this llm we cannot get that latest data which is happening in 2025 right so in such a way if we build such application let's say we build the rag retrieval argument generations Okay, where we want to leverage the use of LLM as well as we also want to retrieve the latest information, right? Then how we can get it? So in such cases, if we introduce this concept, real-time search API, then we have the applications which has the facility to interact with the LLM, means we can get the information through the LLM as well as we don't need to rely that this LLM or we do not need to worry that this LLM is trained until 2023 or 2024. It means we can simply get the latest data by using this real-time search API, okay? So this is where it is used. In this scenario, it is used. I'll talk about the agenting rag rag. In, in, in whole scenario, we can build the complete application but that i will cover in my next sessions not right now in this sessions i mainly focus on real time search api uses okay so now i think you have clear understanding that why we are using this real time search api along with llm in application all right guys now let's move to the practical sessions where we will build this applications from a scratch okay so this is my current applications running. I'm going to close it and we will build from scratch. OK, so here. Uh, OK, let me make one more folder here. And here I'm going to make MKTIR. I say agent testing. OK, I go under this directory. Agent testing. Okay, and here I am going to create one virtual environment. I say Python hyphen M, then virtual environment, and I give it name this one. Okay.
I think this is one of the best practice when you test you uh, when you have several Python packages. Uh, it's best practice you can create your own virtual Python virtual environment and uh, where you can install all the Python packages so it won't interact your rest of the packages, right? And it will be more specific uh, aligned with your requirement of the applications. Now I am going to activate this environment. I say source dot v and v. Then since it is a Windows system, so here is a script for Linux based system. There is another, I think, bin uh, virtual environment slash bin you need to take, then activate will be there, right? So in this way, I activate this environment. Now I need to install a couple of packages. So I need to install like uh, Python or pip, sorry. Let me do control L. I said pip install one packages, table hyphen Python, and second one is streamlink. These two packages are required. Let's wait. It will be completed soon. It won't take much time. It will be a faster. Okay, I think meanwhile it is getting installed. I'm going to pause this video. Once it is completed, I will be back. Okay, guys, so I have successfully installed the packages here. Now we needed the API, API key from this table. So for this, we need to create one account on table. So we search, come here, and I think the thousand tokens are free. So you can use up to thousand tokens, 1K here, right? 20 I have already used. So this is the credit they provide by default first time and you can get your keys here, okay? So I copy these keys. So we need to copy these keys. Uh, let me tell you, okay? So here under the same project directory, this is my project directory, agent-testing, and we are using the streamlit applications, right? So for that, uh, we need to create one, uh, I think, a hidden directory, which is called streamlit. So basically, I do not I do not want to hard code my API keys. Okay. Then I go under stream date here, and I want to make one file under this bi space called secrets dot uml. And here I can paste my API keys. Okay. So in this way, you can paste your API keys here. And I copy my API keys. Save it, come out. So this is done. Now I'm going to make another file and I am under this folder, right? Agenting test. And here I'm making one file called chatbot.py. And this is my repository, which I am going to give this link into the description sections. You can take it from there. These are the course entire. So you can build one streamlit wave applications. Paste it. Okay. Then save it. Now it's time to run. We are all set. If everything okay, we should run the applications without any issues. So streamlit run, then chatbot. Sorry, we need to come out from these applications here. Now we need a streamlit run chatbot.py. Okay, so it is running now perfectly here. And this time we are going to ask what is machine learning okay now let's try with the second questions what is agenting that perfect 
So we have successfully built our own chatbot applications using a Streamlit and this Tably API. Now you can integrate these applications with the RAG model and RAG model also you can build as a agenting RAG, right? So you will have the facility if you have your own documentations, then you can use the embeddings, uh, then vector DV you can store it and then you can make your own applications having the functionality fun, uh, functionality of to interact with the LLM as well as it can interact with your own personal documentations and by using the agent agent you have different roles you can give if you have more than uh, one two three agents and then your application will also have the ability to directly interact with the internet it means it will get the latest data so in such a way you can play and you can build multiple applications with different functionalities as per your requirement you can uh, define the agenting role over there okay so in such a way you can build the applications all right guys that's all from this sessions guys this is my youtube channel so if you haven't subscribed then do subscribe right now there are various topics there are various tutorial videos are there and i just now talk about a rag system so if you are not aware about how rag works what is its functionality so this video i have already covered long ago here so you can watch this video how to build a rag system right and then you can understand the concept of rag meanwhile i am working on agenting rag so probably you can assume the video will be posted in uh, in next one or two weeks because I have to manage my office works as well. So I'm not getting much time for my personal stuffs, but still I will try to reduce, uh, sorry, launch as soon as possible, okay? And if you have, if you need any career guidance, you can book a session on TopMed, okay? So that's all from this session, guys. Please do share and like this uh, video and channel as well. Thank you so much for watching this.